kill at least one more Tempest, or Duelist, rather. And get our one gold. Alright. This is Eelson, speaking directly to your mind. Oh, Find okay. my Sigic projection near the tunnel exit. I know how to stop the Marmar. Alright, he has a Sigic projection. Oh, is he one of the Sigic monks? There was an ancient order, like you saw in Skyrim, but uh, this is a long time before Skyrim, so maybe he is a Sigic monk. Hello? I know what that meant. Through my Sigic projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistral. The Sea Vipers summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that energy into their bound Storm Slave. Uh, what does that mean? The creature can only hold so much energy before it discorporates. All the energy will wash over Kanafi's roost, killing anything it touches. Except for the Thunderbugs, of course. Oh, and the mountain north of Mistral will shatter, leaving no trace of the town. <laughs> um, so there must be a way to stop this, right? Ah, there's the genius of their plan. How do you find a creature made of storm energies? With the wind itself, three ritual horns trap Storm Slave. But the Lodestone now has enough storm energy to counteract the false winds. Elegant, yes? Uh, so what happens when I release Storm Slave from its bonds? It will shed its corporeal form and safely release its stored energy. Uh, by safely, I mean in relation to Kanafi's roost. I recommend moving a fair distance away from Storm Slave when this happens. Perhaps keeping solid rock between it and yourself? Alright, I will try to stop the Sea Viper ritual. You'll have no trouble. But in the event you do, I've opened a portal at a distance of one league from Kanafi's roost. There I'll tread water in the open sea until I've observed your success. Merely a precaution. I have every confidence. Alright, fair enough. Goodbye, Yelsil. Oops, and we will continue on here, opening this up. So we've got to disrupt the three things. Alright, this looks like could be a tough guy to deal with. I'm guessing we just gotta kill these three. Oh, Jesus. There is a large snake like creature attacking. And it seems very, very good. Come on now. Yeah, just keep fighting her. That seems like the best plan. Alright, you rest, uh... Oh, there's still a dude attacking me. Come on. Die, you... Die! Come on! There we go. Alright, uh -huh. I had a near-death experience there real quick. Uh, let's use a health potion. Why not? All right, we've used our first health potion, terrific. Now, let's deactivate this thing, somehow. There we go, using the lodestone, I'm guessing. We've disrupted one of the three. Now, does that mean we have to kill two more giant snakes? I'm guessing probably, or something very similar. Let's make sure we've got our, uh, are familiar out because they have their giant snake summoned I need my little demon raptor so let's hit him with that and then save the second one for the snake to stun the snake there we go oh shoot wow that snake is very very good um, let's revive here, I guess. Might as well. I don't want to run, uh, back. And I don't know what that actually costs, uh, to revive here. I think it might... It costs more, somehow. I'm not quite sure how... Oh, shoot. Those are... Uh, guys respawning. You gotta be quick here. Search you. 
take that, and let's give it another go, shall we? Oh, wait, are they dead? Are those guys dead? Somehow? Alright, well, we've somehow, uh, managed to use the second horn. Awesome. Not sure where the giant snake went. Maybe she killed it after it killed me. That's probably what happened. Now that I think about it, uh... Demon Raptor here on the job. Alright, there we go. Oh hey, we had a instant cast of that as well. Which is good. I gotta focus on killing that snake this time, I think. That did a lot of damage to me last time. And a Kamas. Oh shoot. What the heck? I... I am... Wow. I am woefully unready for this, I, I think. Um, I am... I am not doing... Not doing well. Not doing well. I know what we need. Let's... Let's, uh... First of all, how is my apparel? My apparel's doing fine still, I think. Um, let's... Use an ice staff. Rather than this lightning staff. Yeah, let's let's go with this uh, maple ice staff. Let's retry this now. Bring it on, big old snake dude and uh, sorcerer who summons giant snakes. Hit you with our ice beams. The snake appears to just like keep healing itself. Maybe is that what happened? Because I I brought it down pretty far. Oh, it's dead now. Nice. Alright. Now we gotta just take out this sorcerer dude. Who will hopefully be a little easier when he doesn't have a giant snake uh, to fight alongside him. And he was. Nice. Can't loot the snake. That's fine. We will use the final horn and uh, release the this thing. Your bonds cannot hold the tempest. Oh, alright, sweet. Um, so this guy escaped, and he is now pissed off at our enemies, and so he will probably damage then. Follow who? This guy? Okay. Good idea. I'll follow you. We gotta get out of here before that guy, uh, blows up. Ah, uh, I fell off. Alright. Where'd that guy go? He ran this way. I will do the same. Alright. Razum Dar, what do you got for My me? My friend, to escape death so triumphantly is constant thrill, yes? Yeah, for sure, Not yeah. Not so thrilling for the Maumar, of course. Ah, uh, so how'd you find me? The Maumar are fled or dead thanks to your efforts. Canarthi's roost is safe and voluntarily a part of the Aldmeri Dominion. So if you must know, Razum Dar keeps an eye on promising people. All right, we have got a sweet uh, blade, kinetic razor. It's a two-handed sword. Deals three shock damage, and binds when you're equipped. And we get 116 if gold. If Raz had known you would do so well, he would have scrounged you a nicer reward. Apologies. The Mistral Armory is not what it once was. All right, so we have completed that quest. Awesome. So what now? The Maumer are like drunken uncle. Chase them off. And they always come back. Next time, Kenarthi will be waiting for them. Problem is, there are places that will not be so prepared. Uh, what kind of places? If the Vipers are here in numbers strong enough to assault Kenarthi, all of the southern seas are in danger. The Queen is in Oridon right now, beginning a royal visit. Raz would ask you to head to Volkelgard and report to watch Captain Astania. All right, I'll do that Astania at some point. Astania pass word to Her Majesty. Perhaps you can catch a ride on the Prowler. Raz Harjimila was making plans to sail south, and he suspects she may owe you a favor. All right, uh, I'll ask a few questions before you go, of if that's course. all right. After all you have done for us here, it would be rude of Raz to say no. All right, what can I expect in Arudion? Very tall elves and very pretty shores. Oridon is the most worldly part of the Somerset Isles. 
and still many of the High Elves consider it a sanctuary away from the rest of the world. This one thinks they are kidding themselves. Alright, I do want to see the Somerset Isles uh, a little more, so I think I could do that uh, pretty soon. Um, so, who is this watch captain that we're going to be talking to? Astanias, the lovely watch captain of the Volko Guard Watch. Raz has shared more than one drink with the captain, and more than one fight. She's getting a bit grouchy now that she's tied to one port, but she should set you a right. All right, um, and what do you do? This one is a simple Khajiit, like he said when we first met. He resolves issues as they come up. He acts in the best interest of the Dominion and the Queen. Will I be uh, seeing you again, Razar or Razum Dar? Oh, Raz would not be surprised. You have already proven yourself a competent sort. Simple Khajiit like this one have a tendency to meet competent people like you. All right, sounds good. Goodbye, Razumdar. I hope we meet again one day. And I have leveled up. Awesome. Let us check that out in our little uh, skill quest points here. Our skill points. What else can we do? Uh, all right, if I unlock this, I think then next time I can unlock these, perhaps? Oh, nope, I need to be a higher level. Um... I need to be at level 20, which I am not. So, let's see, I cannot even upgrade my uh, familiar more, so we'll have to wait on that. I could increase destructive touch, uh, which currently deep freezes uh, them a little bit. That's what that turning to stone thing was. Um, my soul magic. Soul Trap. Maybe that's what I should do. I should probably do that, uh, actually. Let's uh, see if I can get Soul Trap. Or do I have that unlocked already? Soul Strike? Um, Alright, how do I actually cast Soul Trap? Oh, there we go. It's set to 4. Perfect. Alright, so now I know how to actually do that. What do my Khajiit skills do? Um... Increases health regeneration while in combat. I don't think I need to quite do that. I could get metalworking. Allows the use of iron ingots. Um, I could do that if I could find a place to uh, eventually do that. Or I could get enchanting. Um, allows the use of Joro, which I have. Uh, Porade, Jode, and uh, Noted. Potency rune stones to make glyphs, levels 1 to 15. I don't actually know what that is, and I'm guessing blacksmithing is going to be easier to figure out. So I'm I'm leaning towards just using metalworking. Although actually that's not a skill point I have to unlock. So never mind. Don't pay any attention to me. Uh, Mage's Fury. What does this do? It deals 17 shock damage and explodes for an additional 60 shock damage uh, if the target falls below 20% health within four seconds. The explosion deals 12 so shock damage to enemies with a 4 meter radius of the target. Interesting, interesting. Um, in case immobilizes the enemy in front of you for a few seconds, 5 seconds or so. Um, wall of Elements creates an elemental wall that deals 8 magic damage every 1 second to enemies in that area for 2.5 seconds. And what can I increase this to do? Uh, add additional elemental effects. Uh, frost touch would cause a deeper freeze then, basically. Um, or, has increased range. Um, I can use this to freeze people. So, I don't think we need... Well, we could maybe get that other thing. But I'm thinking I'm going to go with... Oh, this is a tough choice. Tough, tough choice. Um, let's go with the Wall of Elements. Um, no, I changed my mind. We are going to upgrade this. We're going to stick to the spells we have and upgrade them. And I would like to be able to cause a deeper freeze, so we're going to morph that. Alright, there we go. Skill point used. And that is where I'm going to call this recording session because I need a little break uh, before I get back to it. So thank you guys for watching, 
and hopefully you are enjoying the tales of uh, Pepino the Khajiit, and uh, hopefully we can continue to do service for the Almeri Dominion, and uh, continue to enjoy the Elder Scrolls Online. So thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you will join me next time. Bye-bye.